Google is putting their AI to work by using them to optimize our entire computing ecosystem. And it all starts with games. On the 7th of June, 2023, Google DeepMind published a blog post explaining how their AI algorithms can help solve modern day problems. But how and what kind of problems? Keep watching till the end to find out. Optimizing the computing ecosystem. DeepMind has developed many AI models that have achieved superhuman performance. This is thanks to DeepMind's love for games. In the video accompanying the blog post, they describe how they've managed to get their AI to this point thanks to games. These include board games like chess, Go, and Mahjong. But they even went a step further and included video games on the Atari 2600. Games can have a number of real-world applications. Although it's not guaranteed that mastering a game will translate over to real-world skills, they do provide some benefits, such as being able to analyze your environment, making reasonable predictions about the future, and making moves according to a plan you've laid out in your head. Analysis, planning, and execution are vital tasks in games like chess. And we've seen in the past that algorithms and programs have been trained to be exceptionally good at board games like chess, beating even world champions in the process. But DeepMind wanted to know if an AI could learn these games with zero human input and help. Not even giving the AI a tutorial on how to move the pieces, zero strategies and guides. All it's given is the game itself without a hint as to what the rules even are. This led to the AI model known as Mu Zero being born. It learned how to play games by itself, and not just play them, but win in the process as well. It took this to the point of perfection and mastery, achieving a level of success and efficiency that would take years for a human being to come close to. It doesn't just play these games, Mu Zero excels in them in the smartest way possible, by assessing, planning, and executing strategies it taught itself. This is known as reinforcement learning. But why is this important? These concepts can be applied to real-world problems too. Being able to learn about something to the point of mastery can help solve real-world complex tasks. Google DeepMind gives the example of video compression, being able to reduce the amount of data needed to stream a video while keeping its quality intact. They mention that the accompanying video in the blog itself was compressed with the help of AI. And it's not just MuZero. AlphaZero and AlphaDev are also helping to optimize the computing ecosystem. This is very important as this ecosystem is essential to the devices of our world. These AIs can allow us to stream videos with less data, streamline code to make software perform even better, and optimize data centers. All of these are very beneficial to anyone that uses electronic devices. And these are just a few examples they've given. Their specialized version of AlphaZero, known as AlphaDev, has already explored new algorithms that are speeding up essential software, softwares that mark the building blocks of our digital society. AI algorithms are improving at an astonishing rate, becoming more and more complex after each passing day. DeepMind wants to push AI to not just solve a single problem in the best way possible, but become more generalized, meaning an AI that has a broader understanding of the world. This is so that it can pass on its useful knowledge to other problems that need solving. These tools are a massive leap in efficiency. DeepMind's early testing has already given us a glimpse of the potential of general-purpose AI, which can affect billions of people around the globe. Let's take a look at the most impactful one. Massive breakthrough in decades-old algorithm. Depending on who you ask, Moore's law may or may not be a thing of the past. The amount of transistors that are present on top of silicon wafers seems to double every two years according to Moore's law. This has been true for the past 60 years, but now we're reaching the physical limits of silicon. It's becoming physically impossible to add more transistors per square inch. Some experimental transistors made by IBM are just a little bit larger than the atom of silicon itself. To add on top of this, AI hasn't been helping with this issue. Large language models like ChatGPT4 and Google Bard have huge parameters that only increase exponentially, increasing the demand for processing power. Humans have been able to keep up with the complexity of code thanks to microchip improvements, but we may not be able to rely on manufacturing material advancements any longer. Because of this, scientists are looking for ways to optimize computer code to increase computing speed rather than just brute forcing with more processing power. This is especially important for algorithms that run trillions of lines of code per day. And DeepMind's latest AI system, AlphaDev, has made a breakthrough in sorting algorithms. The AI found a solution that resulted in much faster hashing and sorting algorithms. Billions of people use these algorithms. 
They are used trillions of times per day to store, sort, and retrieve data. These algorithms are the building blocks of our digital world. They handle how our devices display information, how they process it, how they handle and rank online search results, and even deal with social posts and user recommendations. Rankings and user recommendations are very important for the health of channels like ours, so be sure to leave a like and subscribe so that we can keep providing quality content. So how much faster is AlphaDev's algorithm compared to a human's? The new sorting algorithm has resulted in an increase in speed of 70%. This is the first time in 10 years that the C++ sorting library has been changed. Even the lead developer of AlphaDev was surprised at this improvement. He didn't expect to see such a massive jump for a short program that has been studied for decades. Something like this has already been optimized massively by human hands. Yet an AI is able to push it even further. Furthermore, testing revealed that the AI made algorithm sorted data three times faster than humans. The 70% increase in efficiency was present in tests that utilized short sequences of elements. Sequences like ones consisting of 250,000 elements, there was only an improvement of 1.7%. But who knows how much that might improve as AlphaDev gets better. If this algorithm were to be used at scale, it could save us tremendous amounts of time and energy. It could change how we program computers in the future, relying on AI for optimization. AlphaDev also developed a new algorithm for hashing information. This algorithm is used for storing and retrieving data, like a list of students in school or a customer database. Thanks to this system, the computer knows exactly what it's looking for and where to find it. AlphaDev's hashing algorithm resulted in a 30% increase in speed for retrieving data typically found in data centers. DeepMind has already released these algorithms to the public through the C++ and Absale library. There are already millions of developers using these new algorithms in industries like retail, supply chain management, and cloud computing. Video Compression and Data Centers DeepMind's AI improved Google's data center system, known as Borg, by 19%. This is because Borg was manually programmed to handle all types of tasks and different kinds of workloads. But given how complex task scheduling can get, it cannot predict how to save space efficiently for upcoming tasks. Google had a one-size-fits-all approach to Borg. DeepMind says that Borg works similarly to playing 3D Tetris. If you don't know what kind of pieces are going to show up, you can't plan and save space properly. But thanks to AlphaZero, the AI can recognize patterns in upcoming workloads and efficiently save the right space for the right task thereby increasing hardware utilization. As for video compression, Muzero reduced data usage on YouTube by 4% while keeping the quality of the video intact. Muzero did this by going frame by frame and determining what groups of frames could be compressed based on minimal changes in visual detail. Like a car being driven across a static background, the background itself would receive minimal changes while the car's position would change every frame. So instead of storing information about an unmoving background, Muzero detects that the background is static and stores information about the car instead. It's capable of identifying what blocks within a set of frames do not change. Even an improvement of 4% makes a huge difference, as video streaming constitutes a large portion of internet traffic. As a result, generalized tools like these AI have massive potential in saving resources. But DeepMind claims that this is just the start. What else do you guys think generalized AI could do? Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest AI news.